the other day when I was driving my boat, this motor started losing power. And generally there's two things that go wrong with uh, electric motors. There's either the bearings, you know, where the shaft comes out, the bearing, it goes through a bearing and then there's a bearing back here. If one of the bearings is bad, it usually makes a sound either like a horrible vibrating sound or just like a grinding sound. But it wasn't making any sound. Uh, it was just losing power, so I suspected the second thing, which is the other moving part, which is the brushes. Uh, the brushes are like blocks of carbon that touch this part, this copper stuff in here, and electricity comes through the brush and then touches uh, and then goes through into the copper part there, because the electricity has to go from a stationary part to a moving part, so it does that through this part that just, and this just slides on there, and it shoves the electricity through. So these slowly wear down uh, and they're they're generally spring-loaded like this has a spring that that pushes it in so as it slowly wears down it's, it slowly gets pushed in and pushed in and pushed in and it takes a long time for these to wear out because they're uh, a material that lasts a long time and that's really made to be as smooth as possible so it doesn't grind on these but eventually they wear down. Um, now that sometimes they just get gunked up and stuck. So as they wear, the the spring isn't strong enough to continue pushing them in. And I think that's what's happening because that would happen, I mean, that could be the what's causing an intermittent uh, power loss. Because, you know, the brush is kind of just barely touching. So it's, it's getting some electricity in there, but uh, it's not really contacting well. So it's kind of like cutting in and out. So I think that's what's going on. Now I checked this brush and it moves okay. And I checked this one over here. There's four of them on this motor. But then when I checked this one under here, can't really see it very well. You'll see it when I take it apart. Anyway, uh, I tried to wiggle it and it was just in there rock solid. And then I tried to, you know, shake it loose and then I grabbed it with pliers, you know, very gently because I don't want to break it totally broken now so I'm gonna to have to put a new brush in there unless I can jerry-rig something for the moment I have no experience with this particular motor so I'm just taking screws out I'm hoping this whole back part will come off with the brushes attached to this and then I can look at it Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Man, these brushes are real beat up though. This one's cracked off here. And then, where's the one I broke? What are the uh, this is the one I broke. What are brushes? I will tell you what brushes are right now. Alright, so these these are the four brushes. Or you want to come over so you can see? Okay. Now they should all be spring loaded and easily moving so they can stay in contact with the thing in the middle. As you can see, this one is not moving, and this one is not moving. Uh, so Which I need to do something about this one and this one. They're oh. just stuck. I don't know. What to do. Maybe get, they got gunk stuck in them. Either way, they're not moving. I need to loosen them up. And the brushes touch this fancy-looking thing here as it turns, and it keeps the electricity going through there. The electricity goes through here through coils that you can just see the edge of in there that coil around and as this moves the brushes put electricity into different ones uh, that correspond to where where they where they need to be to make the electric uh, to make the electromagnets uh, attract to the electromagnets on the outside so if this is attracting so it goes over there whoosh, it does that but then as it moves it gets the electricity so now this part's trying to get over there and it does that and now the electricity switches and it just keeps the electricity moving to keep it just behind where the thing is moving. Electric motors are really cool. Let me see, get the spring out of the way first. I just have to remember to put that back that way. Oh, it's stuck in there. Come on, guy. Alright, there we go. That one's not too bad. It's kind of weird on the side here. There's like of sticky gunk that's making it hard for this to slide. Maybe if I do it a bunch of times I can grind it out of there. 
Is Vaseline good on this? I don't know. I'm going to try it. Ooh, nice and smooth now. Oh yeah, doing that to all of them. Someone's gonna send me a, a link to something that says, Vaseline eats carbon. Ah, oh, no! All right, and now the one that I already broke. Good thing about breaking it is I can take it out and look at it, yay. But seriously, ugh, I wish I took it apart before doing anything to it. I wonder if there's something I can do to re <laughs> to glue it back together. I do have the pieces that broke off. I do have these two brushes from somewhere. Yeah, I could kind of file those down. Alright, I'm just going to wait and go get some when I go to the store. I think I'm going to go tomorrow. Alright, I'll take this to town. Find a brush this size or bigger, because if it's bigger, I can just file it down. If I'm real smart, I'll get like eight of them, so I have replacements. All right, this place has the stuff. Getting a good drink there? All right, let's see, lots of little ones. there. Let's try the next place. Yeah, right over there. Ah, cripes. Oh, we're about to go into the last door that might have it. Oh, that was the last door back there. But I just ran into my junkyard friend who has a little junkyard. And he says he might have it, so I'm going to go over there. Fingers crossed. I found one of these, and if I can get two more, three of these stacked up will fit. And then I'm buying all this aluminum stuff, too. Ah, uh, it's my favorite place to get stuff. So I didn't find the right brushes, but maybe I can find two that two in town that match that one. Ah, now I really wish I didn't crack that one. Ah, God, stupid. Anyway, ah, stuff happens, and then you have to deal with it. Still, I got no motor brush, but I'm just going to... Jerry rigged this one in there. I checked online and these brushes cost like a hundred dollars for a set because you get the brushes and the wire then this bolt out here I don't need all that stuff so I went and ordered some cheap just big giant carbon brushes that I can actually file down to this motor or some other motor whatever I need anyway for this one I cut a groove in the back of the brush so the wire would go through the hole then down the groove and then out and then I put this brass plate against it to press it against so there's a lot of surface area touching and it's being pressed because this spring is pretty strong that presses the whole thing together and then to make sure this plate doesn't wiggle out or slowly wear through the wire I soldered it to the wire now I need to push all four of these brushes out and get the whole thing over this I'm sure there's some fancy trick to this but I just do it with my fingers, normally at least. There's one, two, oh, I might need a screwdriver to get in there. Oh, oh got it. Three. Those on. 
before anyone freaks out that my propeller is too high, the motor, when it's being used, it slides way down here. So the propeller goes down. Anyway, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to drive somewhere today. Uh, it's about six miles. So I'll use this motor doing that. And I'll keep an eye out for smoke and everything. But I, I think I'm all right. Definitely got some nice hands. Ooh, yeah. At least it's just uh, carbon. It'll come off easy. Oh, and just in case I'm watching this at some point. All right, Jamie. I know you've probably got a lot going on, whatever you're doing right now. <clears throat> but when something breaks or you need to fix something, just slow down. Take a deep breath. Don't make it worse. Take the most sure way to fix it even if it's a little bit longer than another way because it, it gives the best chance of not screwing anything up and not making it take longer. Like this could have been a 10 minute fix if I hadn't cracked the brush. Oh, and yes, that was crazy glue I used to glue the brush back together. Well, I just drove for an hour on my boat and the motor seems fine. So I guess I'm just going with that for a while.